Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw a peony. I'm going to do two different types, just slightly different, one with a more open centre and one with a more closed centre. So to begin with, grab a pencil and draw a circle. Then go ahead and draw a larger circle around the centre one, which will be the overall size of the flower that you want it to be. And then in the centre, that's going to be the middle of the flower. And all the petals on a peony sort of fold in on each other. They're a little bit like a cabbage. So in the centre, all of those initial petals will be folding in towards the middle. So I'm just drawing all the petals folding in towards the centre of the circle. And this is going to be the closed peony. So you're not going to see any of the little bits of detail in the middle. And then we're going to start adding the outer petals, which are a lot more open. And these are going to open up towards the second line that you've drawn. So just go ahead and start drawing a few rough petals and then add a few, almost like a D shape uh, in between the two, just for a bit of contrast. So try not to draw them all the same size. Do some larger and some smaller. And then after I've got a rough line in, I've grabbed my uni ball. I think this was a 0 0.7 or 7 size tip. And then I'm going to just sharpen up those lines and curve each line as I'm drawing it so it's not just a smooth line. And then just think about which petals you want to overlap each other. So you can do some smooth and then on some of them I'm creating almost like a slightly V shape just to give the petal a bit of interest. And just try and leave different size gaps in between the petals. This will look more natural. Then once I've drawn in all of those main lines, I'm going to try and give the illusion that some of the petals are folded. So as you can see here, I'm drawing almost like a little bow and arrow shape. Um, and I'm doing this so on the left hand side of the peony I'm doing it on the left hand side of the petals and on the right hand side of the peony it will be more on the right hand side of the petals so you can see how that just makes it look like the petals are actually curved rather than them all flat but you don't want to do this to every single petal just so it has some variation so to draw the leaves just start by drawing a curved line don't do a straight line make it slightly curved and I always tend to do, to do it from the gap in between where the petals sit. So once you've done a curved line, add your two other curved lines. So you're making like an oval shape. If you're doing more than one leaf together, try and just have that initial curved line go in a slightly different direction so they're not all the same. So you might have one bending to the right and then do the other one bending to the left. And that initial line you can either do a curve or more the S shape so some of the leaves I'm going to do a center line and then some of them I'm going to do a bit smaller which is just like the oval shape So once I'm happy with the layer of the leaves, I'm going to get that pen again and just outline those. As with the petals, some of the lines on the leaves, I'm going to do a little divot in. Again, not every single one and try not to make them the same on each side of the leaf. 
So you might have a smooth band on one side and then have your divot on the other side. Or you could have them on the same leaf but maybe have one on one side and two on the other. You just never want it to be completely symmetrical. And try and have some sort of sitting behind other leaves just so they're not all the same. So once I've finished that, go ahead and you can erase those first pencil lines. And then I'm going to go in with a smaller Uniball pen, this is 0.2, just to add some of the details. So I'm going to start by adding the veins of the leaves. And those little divots that we made are a really good point to then draw a curved line towards the bottom centre of the leaf. So once you've got those lines in, you can add some more in a similar direction. Um, and to make the leaf look like it's bending slightly different ways, you can draw some curving in and then some curving out. I'll probably do a separate video just on leaves because there's a lot more to them than what you think. So I've just grabbed a more grey uniball pen rather than black and this is a number one size. So to add this detail on the peony, again you can use where we did those divots as a starting point and make a curved line towards the base of the petal and again depending on which direction you do your curved line it will give the illusion that the petal is turning one way or the other whether you want it to look like it's curving in or out. So that is basically the outline of the first one done. If you're liking this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to have loads more drawing content coming up. So I'm just using the grey pen again to add a bit of shading to the leaves now. So just follow the outline shape that we've done for the leaf with these. So you don't have to be super precise with this. As you can see, I'm being just quite quick and just giving it a bit of definition. If you have a leaf slightly underneath another one, you can darken that area up slightly so it looks like it's giving it a bit of a shadow. So in the middle of the flower, I've just cross hatched that to make that really, really dark as all the petals would be curving around it. So there would be quite a dark shadow there. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same for the petals now. And again, there's a lot more petals overlapping each other in this part of the flower. 
So just by giving a bit of shading at the base of those petals really gives it that illusion that there is a shadow there. So that is the first peony all finished. Um, so I'm going to show you a slightly different version now where the centre will be a bit more open. So we're going to do exactly the same thing again. Start with your circle and then draw a bigger circle around the edge. And then go ahead and add the centre petals. So with this one you want to imagine the centre about a third of the way down is where all the leaves are going to be curving towards and we don't want to fill them in as much as we did last time so I'm going to leave them slightly more open and then add that sort of bow and arrow shaped petal around the edge of the first ball you can add one or two of those towards the front and then we're going to go ahead again and then just add on the outer petals which will reach that outside line that we drew on Add a few small ones in there just to mix it up a bit and then I'm going to go ahead and get the number seven uni ball pen and just do exactly what we did before just outline these petals and add in a couple of curved and the divots just to give them a bit more interesting shape So once I've done all the basic petal shapes, I'm gonna go in again and add that little detail on the side to make it look like the petal is curving in. And then to add the little details in the middle, I'm just gonna do a couple of semicircles and lay them up almost in like a brick formation. So you don't want them exactly on top of each other, just stagger them slightly. And then go ahead and erase your first pencil lines and then we're going to add the leaves on again. So like before, start with that curved C shape and then add your outer lines around that. And then make sure they're going off from different directions. Again, using the gaps in between the petals as a base for these leaves to come from. Try and do them all different sizes, go in different directions and having a different amount of leaves in each section. Some might have one, some might have two, some might have three. And then just grab your black pen again just to refine those. And then you can just rub out those guidelines again and then grab the finer lighter pen just to add some more details in you can use a black pen for this as well i just like to um, use the gray one as i think it gives it a bit of a contrast 
So use those points that we made in the divots of the petals and then do a curved line from there. And then you can add your other lines around those. And again, never do a straight line, always do a slightly curved line. Even if it's just slightly curved, you just never want any perfectly straight lines. So I'm just going to add some shading again like I did before, just getting the darker pen and using the same directional lines as I've already drawn on, just build it up to more towards the edges and the centre points of the leaf. And then go ahead and do the same for the petals. Again, where the base of the petal is, try and um, try and put most of your shading lines there because that is where a shadow would naturally form, and this will make it look more 3D. And then for the stamens in the centre, just add on a little bit of shading at the bottom. We don't want to fill each of the little circles because you want to leave a bit of a highlight. So just add a bit of detail there and then go ahead, as I did before, and cross hatch in the section that's left to make it look like that is behind the stamens. And there you go. That is... The two peonies drawn up, one with a slightly more open centre, one with a closed centre. Thank you so much for watching if you've made it to the end of the video and please like and subscribe if you want to see more videos from me.